God, I was so motivated two hours ago to record uh, a post or a blog or an audio, <laughs> uh, <laughs> an audio, so to, or a post, so to speak. Now, well, I mean, I'm, I'm not as motivated as I was. Anyway, welcome back. I am Luis. You know, obviously from my channel, Luis Castillo. <laughs> um, and this is my first official blog, uh, post blog. I just call it blog because, I mean, it, it's what it is and that's what I decided to call it for now. Um, thinking of names, different names, like of calling it, um, I, I was, because I wanted, I was like, like I said, before, maybe I didn't say it before, but I made another recording. The things that I said in it was good, but the editing just didn't work. I couldn't find a way to delete the middle part because the middle part, uh, my voiceover got in the way, which it's fine for the most part, but the thing, it read my street and I didn't want that to go out there, but that's, this is just my, so I just decided to make this my first official blog. Plus there was music in the background and I was hard for me to get rid of it. Um, uh, from my, the room next door. But, um, uh, now I am just that I take another, uh, shot at it. I, well, just, um, thought I kind of give you, uh, a brief sort of intro. Um, to what I'm planning on doing, who I am, that'll do in a separate, more like who I am, my background. The background part I'll do in a separate post, but right now, like, I'm, my name is Louise, I'm 30 years old. <laughs> um, I, I've been on YouTube for like 10 years now, but I just never had the courage to make a and really post any video or put or audio to put 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 myself out there online. I I have been on social media for a long time, but I really and I posted and I checked in, but I was always afraid, and I still am. Like that's why I'm doing audios, um, trying to develop it into a podcasting form, but. Which I, that's the hard part because I thought of a title, but the title's already been taken. So I'm, um, I'll, um, that's still a work in progress. Which is all the more reason why I decided to do content because, particularly, well, because of that reason, particularly content that's relevant or that I find relevant. And relative to the, to someone out there that wants, how do I say this? Wants to be, wants someone that relates to them and relates to them on a real level. Like, I, when I make content, I, I mean, I'm, I don't want to try too hard. I don't want to sound like I got it all together because I don't. <laughs> Uh, but which I don't think a lot of us do. Um, and I just thought I do this. Hopefully I can make money out of it, but still have fun doing it because I hear other bloggers, other podcasters, um, and they don't know what they're doing half the time, but they still take that chance in putting themselves out there and they, they, I enjoy hearing what they have to say. So, hey, I thought I'd do that for a change. Um, my goal is to make like, uh, podcasting slash YouTube channel with the, like network with different kinds of content besides mine. Um, I got this idea from. Uh, a former actress. Some of you might know who I'm talking about. The the woman that or that yeah the <laughs> the actress that played Kim Possible, uh, in the 2002 
in 2002, <laughs> um, Christy Romano, um, she and her husband developed a podcasting network called Podco, and they have a series of, like, a podcast from different people, like, Ned's Declassified, uh, Vulnerable, which is her podcast, um, Wizards of Waverly Pod, from Wizards of Waverly Place, <laughs> with, um, the former actors, uh, there's gonna be a reboot, apparently, <laughs> Oh, that's another thing. I am a hardcore Disney Disney Channel fan, to be exact. Um, and that's why that's why I listen to these. <laughs> that's part of the reason why I I've been tuning into the the pod these podcasts. And that's why I got inspired because um, she the uh, Christy, what she did is she recorded herself doing different things, talking about her life, her experience, you know, on with in the with the industry, um what what she went through, good and bad, how she got to where she was, um, just different things. And she was walking in the woods or going to, like, the near Starbucks or, you know, doing other, you know, bl- what bloggers do. And then she had a cooking show for a while during the pandemic where she had guests from the show she used to be in. Um, and, oh, and she has a podcast with another co-star or friend from Disney called Big Name Bitches. I'll... Link these in the description, um, below, um, and those are just a string of podcast, of uh, podcasts and YouTube videos that I listen to, um, that got me, these are the shows that got me, one of the ones that just got me, uh, that inspired me to start creating content on my own. Um, God, I hope I don't get flagged by this. I mentioned them. <laughs> I'm new to this YouTube thing, even though I've been here for, I've been on the platform <laughs> for 10 years. Uh, what else? Well, um, I'm completely blind. <laughs> if you noticed by the trailer, I voiceover went off. Didn't give all my personal information. It just said, stop. Um, but I kept it in there, so that was a subtle hint. And I think I put it in the description. I don't remember if I did or didn't. <laughs> um, probably update it later on. And which is, that's probably, that's gonna be the basis of, uh, when I post content. You never know when I'm gonna post. I might talk pop culture, television, music. Hello, Taylor Swift. I'm a Swiftie. <laughs> I went to the Eras tour in August. Or, no. The end of July for me, uh, that'll tell you where I'm from. <laughs> uh, when she was in Santa Clara, I went to the July 28th. I believe it was, yeah, the 28th concert. It was fun. It was honestly one of my highlights of 2023. <laughs> um, despite the death of my grandma, due, uh, happening, uh, it was almost a year, um, since she passed um went peacefully with all of us by her side. I'll probably talk about that more in a different video. I that was actually my pre sort of uh, the job or what I did for the past I can't believe six years. Um taking care of her. I got paid through IHSS. Um it was an adventure. Um it Honestly, I have a level of feeling of gratitude and respect with towards nurses, teachers, caretaker, and even our par- my parents. Um, if any of you who dealt with 
someone who is who is battling dementia, Alzheimer's, or even autism, you will know what I'm talking about. Um, or even just as a kid of their own, would know what I'm talking about. Where it's one of those things. Even though I was getting paid, it you are basically on the clock even though you're off the clock. Sometimes all hands have to be on deck. Um, all hands with gloves have to be on deck. <laughs> um, and then that worry of, will she make it? Is she going to... Does, does she... If she dies this way, to stomach that... It wasn't, it's not our fault, you know, things happen, and to take, and one thing that I learned is to take it with a grain of salt and take it one day at a time, um, it, it was a tough journey, it was a fun journey. It was a memorable journey, something. I would do it all over again. Okay, maybe I wouldn't. <laughs> Actually, I would do it all over again. If when it came to my grandma, I don't think I would do it again with other <laughs> people. <laughs> and I'm totally not ready to do it right now. <laughs> but, you know, it. it's part of life and life goes on. And it's lessons that we learn along the way and if it wasn't for if it weren't for her I wouldn't have become the person I am today and if it wasn't and if if she didn't have dementia there'll be other bare trials and tribulations I would be facing one of them is doing well while I'm doing this blog I am anticipating challenges along the way but I'm willing to overcome them one of them trolls getting monetized. Uh, <laughs> it's hard to think of anything else at 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> which is the, <laughs> uh, which is when I decided to, uh, record. I don't know if I'll be posting it the same day. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Depends. But, I will say it is going to be a fun ride if I continue doing this thing, <laughs> which I will um, probably be posting once or twice a week. Um, and I'll probably be going live on my socials, uh, most likely Instagram. Until I build up a fan or like a subscriber base on YouTube. Um, when, um, I know I mentioned earlier that I want to do like this podcasting network and I want to fill it with other shows from friends that I have that are doing content. So you can, um, well, either shows or even music, because I, part of the goal of my channel is to build, uh, build a, a network with people with different disabilities, particularly, especially blindness, to kind of make blindness kind of a not so marginalized so to speak and to show people that technology has come so far and blind people have the same ambition and the same motivation as someone who sighted even more <laughs> and how music and technology and content creating really makes, um, really does make a difference in a person's life, blind or sighted. 
Um, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> but anyway, that's what I'm hoping to do on my channel. Um, and also, that's actually what I'm going to be talking about is blind things, the things we go to as, through as blind people. Um, I should really make cue cards <laughs> when I do this. Um, because I tend to get distracted. But anyway, yeah, uh, I will talk about, I want to talk about, like I said, different things. One of the things I want to talk about, like I said, besides the stuff I listed before, is the things that us who are blind go through on a regular basis. And also, the upbringing and growing up being, uh, growing up and, uh, being, you know, growing up being blind as a child, as a teenager. Boy, there's a lot of stories we can, um, kind of blind, blind, living blind in a big city versus living blind in a small town. I feel like that conversation isn't had enough because there's a lack of resources that we have that there is in a smaller area um, before like iPhones and iPads and <laughs> different kind of technology came um, you know came to be and, you know, if it were for Apple and Google, you know, we would be, we would be using, we would be, we received, I know growing up, I received, um, a braille tablet that costs six to eight thousand dollars. Uh, and I was, when I was in school, because like, I was 30 early, <laughs> um, I was in middle school in the era where the iPhone was just becoming to be a thing. Blackberry was uh, a, a thing. Um, there was a phone with a keyboard, but didn't really have voice input. And then at the time, when the iPhone did come out, it was only available to T-Mobile, and it was there was a lot of bug fixes need to that to be needed. Verizon didn't have it. And um therefore it was not available for me. And so I had a thing called a Braille Note. It looks like I said it was a Braille tablet. Um that was shipped f from Canada. Um luckily going to school, like the school paid for it, so I didn't have to pay for it. There's uh, agencies and people that help with that. Um, and I'll discuss that in a different video uh, with other people that I might bring on. I might have group discussions. It won't just be me talking. Um, Although, I might do that for, for a couple of videos or recordings, but I might bring other people on and I'll be on other videos and vice versa. And the, the conversations are going to be interesting and hopefully not heated, but if they do, oh dear. <laughs> um, I, they're not, I, <laughs> not really a controversial person. I don't plan to be, but. I might talk politics, I might react to different political videos, but it's not going to be heavy or intense or offensive, but I do apologize in advance if it does get to that point. <laughs> um, so anyway, thank you for subscribing, those of you who have. Thank you for watching. I would appreciate if you subscribe, share, like and keep tuning in because I will be like I said posting at least once or twice a week mm. and and
possibly have other people as well <laughs> on this recording. So I hope you all have a blessed day and I will speak to you all next time I do a video.